How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you three ways to smooth out your edits without using After Effects. You can do all this only in Premiere or really any sort of linear editing software. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ted Willis and I make videos for a living. So I wanted to give you a few tips on how you can smooth out your videos and make them look way more professional. There's a lot of people using fancy After Effects transitions, which are really cool, but if they're not driven by story and motivated, they end up looking cheesy and they're going to die out. What I mean by that is uh, everyone's using them right now, but in a couple years, they're gonna look super dated. So I wanna show you a couple classic ways that people have been using to smooth out edits in cinema for decades, and these are going nowhere. The three types of techniques I'm gonna show you are an L cut, eyeline match, and match on action. So the first one, L cut, I use all the time. You can use in your vlogs, you can use in client videos, you can use in your short films or cinema features. You will see this all the time if you look for it. And it's really simple. On your timeline, it's going to form an L and basically what you're doing is you are leading the edit with the audio from the next clip. Let's jump into Premiere. Start off, I'll play you a clip from a recent vlog that I made in Ireland. Plan is to hike to this cave that's like way up here. But first we're gonna start off with a sweet time lapse. I'm setting up my third day of my road trip through Ireland. So sweet, oh, it's 4K. Eh. I'm gonna drop this down to 50% so it fills my 1080 frame. Okay, cool, so we have my time lapse. I wanna get some audio to really sell the motion of the clouds. So we're gonna go over to my audio folder. Gotta keep all your stuff organized. Blowing wind, let's listen to this guy. Oh yeah, that sounds like some clouds moving. Drop that in here. All right, now we need to tell them what day it is. It's not labeled right. Day three of my trip. We're setting it up. You see we're in Ireland. Okay, but what are we doing? We're actually gonna go hiking. So I need to find my clip, me introducing what we're doing that day. I introduce us right here. Plan is to hike to this cave that's like way up here. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna bring that in. Now for the L cut magic. What you wanna do is motivate the edit. So if you hear me start talking before you see me, then you will automatically want to see who's speaking. So your brain is wanting the edit to happen. Your viewer doesn't even notice that an edit happens because the viewer wants the edit to happen. Plan is to hike to this cave. So you smooth that out a little bit. I'm going to drop down my levels of the wind to fade it out. But you see how this kind of forms an L-ish thing? It's an L cut. Okay, that's what it's called. But here you go. Plan is to hike to this cave. See how much smoother that is than just it cutting from one to the next? Plan is to hike to this cave. So much smoother the other way around. Plan is to hike to this cave. The second is exactly what it sounds like, eyeline match. So we're going to match the eyeline of whatever your talent is looking at. In this case, it's another vlog, and I am gazing over the cliff. Again, this is in Ireland. So as I'm looking over the cliff, we're going to then cut to show what I'm looking at. Again, it's just like the L cut in that your audience, your viewer wants to see what the person's looking at. So this fits into a montage sequence where me and my friend Kyle are exploring around Ireland and we go visit the Cliffs of Moher. So we're hiking around and then I'm approaching the edge of the cliff. So I have this clip where I'm looking over the cliff. I kind of freak out. I'm gonna cut it so I'm looking over and what do you naturally wanna see? You wanna see what I'm looking at. So we're gonna bring that in, and then the next edit is going to be exactly that, what I'm looking at. And so oh, here's me dangling my feet, and here. So I could, just seeing this, that could work. Just a static view, but 
what I did when I shot this is I kind of matched the motion of my head. Like I mimicked what my point of view is with the camera. So I'm gonna do this little guy peering over the cliff. That's pretty sweet. And then I had some good audio from this clip. that I'm going to bring in here to really sell what I'm looking at. Let's see how it looks. Eyeline match. Pretty simple. Third editing technique I'm going to show you guys is match on action. This is a little bit more complex because it really does take some more planning out of your scene. You can still do this in vlogs. Casey Neistat does this all the time in his vlogs, especially his old stuff but you'll see it all the time in movies because that's how you build a scene. This is from another one of my vlogs. I'm going to meet up with people at a park in New York and I'm waiting beforehand. I have some time to kill. So I'm gonna go sit down on this bench and then I'm going to address the camera. So that's obviously a really simple thing. You don't have to do this whole match on action, but it stylizes your video, brings up the production up value a little bit more and your viewer doesn't even really notice why the edit's smoother. Here I am on this bench. I'm gonna sit down on this bench. Cool. Bring this in. Now I actually start talking to the camera. So this is the match on action part and this is why it takes some planning. So as you see, I sit down and then my head turns. I'm going to edit on that head turn in the next shot. So I set it up knowing ahead of time that I was going to try to do match on action in this clip. So you see right before I start addressing the camera, I turn to look at it. So I'm going to edit on this turn. I'm just going to chill here and wait a little bit. So I bring that in and I need to make sure that this clip ends as my head's turning. This isn't gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be close. So let's look. Ooh, not quite there. There, see? Just this extra frame really makes a difference. Let's see this. I'm just gonna chill here and wait a little bit. Okay. That works visually, but the audio, there's a jump, so it really indicates there's an edit there. Let's smooth that out. I'm gonna separate the audio, Apple L, delete this audio track, and then unlink it again from that clip and drag it out. Let's see. I'm just gonna chill here and wait a little bit. Smooth it out quite a bit. So let's look at the alternative if you don't match the action perfectly, it's gonna be jumpy. I'm not too bad, but definitely not as smooth as the alternative. Not bad at all. Just to recap, the three easy edits that you're gonna do are L-cut, eyeline match, and match on action. These are classic. They've been being used for decades. They are not gonna go out of style. So you will be guaranteed that your videos are not gonna look cheesy in five or 10 years. Hope that tutorial was helpful for you guys. Let me know what other kind of tutorials you wanna see and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.